I think uh, the goal, you know, the goal that we concede, uh, a goal that we we should be able to avoid, um, it's coming from nothing, and and um, this is how the game went. Like uh, every time that we went up to um, get the game back to ours, um, the opponent hit us uh, uh, from unexpected situations that we should control better, and it's our um, our obligation to do better, you know, as a team. Okay, um, and um, and the thing is, like, um, you know, even when we scored a two-one, uh, they scored the third the third goal uh, right away, and it's like uh, you go to the halftime with a two-one, and um, and and then if you see the start we have in the second half, that we could score three goals in the first ten minutes of the second half. Uh, we had to, like, two chances from Petar and one from Dante. Like, uh, it should be a goal, you know, and uh, and, and then change the game. Um, and I think we try, and this is what we, we have to keep doing it. Uh, I think we have to reset now, have a couple of days uh, away, um, get back and stronger, uh, start our preseason, all right, with everyone. And uh, and reset and they said um, they said that our our season start next next game and uh, what we did now it's um, it's preparing us for for what we want to achieve and uh, but today it was tough because I don't think uh, we deserve uh, that result at all um, and at least we we deserve uh, uh, to get something. No, they're they're disappointed. We are very disappointed. We want to win. We want to, you know, we have uh, our stadium uh, packed with our fans. We want, we just want to uh, win for them. You know, it's it's what why we work every single week. We we work every single week to get a win to our fans, and uh, we put a lot of effort there, and the players put a lot of effort there. And um, when you don't do it, and when when you put that effort that you put today, and uh, you had a control game. Um, and and then you get you lose the game and it's like uh, you know you feel very very disappointed and down. But you know we're professionals. We had uh, a bad moment last year during the season. Uh, this season is uh, this bad moment is coming too early. Uh, but we'll we'll regroup and we'll we'll get this uh, the, this uh, right and uh, we'll get back to 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 give wins to the to our supporters. Uh, we'll go with Paul. Yeah, no, it, it's tough, and, and as I said, I think we had a really good 25 minutes. Uh, we had completely controlled the game. Uh, we were also dangerous, creating set pieces, uh, creating a free kicks. Uh, we create we create some crosses, and um, and then we concede that goal that uh, put us in a in a difficult position in the game. Um, after that, I think we get back to the game. We were working the game, and in a set piece. Uh, we consider uh, the second goal. Even that uh, this happened, we responded well. We scored this, the two-one in a set piece, and uh, and I think in that moment that we were, you know, uh, with more confidence, and uh, we were going to to score the second goal. We just concede that third goal right away, and it's like it hits you hard. And I think if the response that we had uh, in the second half is amazing. Like the first ten minutes, we were all over them. We create very clear chances to score. If we score a goal and and, and we get 3-2, having 35 minutes left uh, uh, from the to the game is, I think we we could uh, uh, come back. You know, I, I really I really do because the the team was showing that uh, it was uh, had superiority in, in a lot of uh, phases of the game. You know, and but this is a, a sport that is a lot of things. It's not one thing that you have to dominate. And uh, they did uh, very well dominating the the other, and they had like that lucky uh, that we weren't uh, good enough in front of goal. And then you also mentioned earlier uh, about just the excitement of Jesus and Pepe playing together, and obviously they connected on, on the goal. 
Yeah, no, and, and I think uh, we, we're going to see more, but it, it takes time, you know. It takes time. It's not something that is going to uh, happen in, in, in a moment. And, and we have to help also that uh, getting results, uh, everyone gets confidence. But, you know, if we if we think about some of the individual performance that we had uh, in the past two games and some of the individual performance that we had today, we, we gave a, a good step forward. Uh, but it wasn't enough, you know, and uh, then we, we need more. Yeah, uh, the the thing is, uh, it was a game plan uh, against uh, Vancouver. They they defended a three four three. We wanted wingers high uh, to try to exploit that. I think it worked uh, really well. I think we we found them. Every time we found them, we create a cross. We create a a, a dangerous play there. Um, and to be honest, the the goals that we concede to are in set piece. It, it, you know, we didn't concede the goals because we went to a four. It was, uh, and we created a lot of chances. Uh, we had, uh, I think, 11 shots, and uh, today and they have uh, five on target. And the opponent had three on target and three goals. And it's like th this is the difference. And if we have the five shots uh, um, on target, or some of the plays that we didn't get a shot uh, at the end, like Dante one. Um, but if we could get a, a goal there, you know, uh, it, it could be, it could change the game. And goals change the games. This is one thing that we have to, uh, we've learned uh, throughout these uh, three games. Uh, coach, uh, second and third goal, both came from a fairly similar situation. Uh, Vancouver free kick fairly deep. Played it around the back a little bit, wait for uh, a man to advance out of uh, your own back line to pump the ball over. And what was the breakdown in defenders picking up? Yeah, it's something that we have to analyze uh, uh, really well and uh, together as a staff and, and see what was the issues. But uh, um, to be honest, we were really, really good in uh, defending set pieces throughout the, the, this start of the of the league. Um, and, uh, and it's something that we have to, to address, you know. Uh, there is some mistakes inside, some individual mistakes in, in the roles and respons responsibilities of the players. And we, as a staff, has to to help them to to give them resources to understand better the, the, those roles and responsibilities, and, and that this cannot happen. You know. You know, first of all, is since we started preseason, right until now, has been a, a very long journey together and and really hard and no days off and uh, or maybe you know one day is off but uh, a lot of work um then looking at the schedule that we have ahead right we don't have any other opportunity to have a, a little break right and i believe like sometimes that uh, mental break you know you can see your family you know you can see your friends you can get a, away a little bit of this constant uh, you know maybe this break with this result it helped us a lot uh, more than if we win and we have to rest you know um but i want the guys just uh disconnect from that you know uh, get the love of, of uh, their families the guys suffer a lot you know i know how much they love the club the fans and we all uh, suffer this and it's good to get away a little bit and then when you come back you you come and reset with a different energy a different mood um, and, and now for us, it's a, a really, really, we're going to be very detailed on one, how we're going to um, address the things that, you know, are not going in our way in order to get results and how we build from there. And then we'll go with Nathan Hill on Zoom. Hey, Coach, I know this was a disappointing result for you. Um, what would you say to fans who are really frustrated with, uh, a very deep roster performing so poorly at the beginning of the season. Well, that uh, as I always say, you know, the uh, I'm I'm uh, from a teaching and family teaching. You know, the evaluations are in at the end of the season, right? Then uh, every team, every team in a season has a, a difficult time at the beginning, in the middle of the season, at the end. We've seen that last year. We had uh, uh, the end of May and June, a really tough, really tough uh, situation where we lost a lot of points. And uh, and now in this year, it's happening 
uh, at the beginning. And hopefully, you know, and this is how uh, and what we believe that the work we're going to do is going to change that and it's going to make us stronger for what is coming to the season. We can't forget that this, uh, this uh, is a difficult league. It's not an easy league. We have to give uh, a lot of credit what this group has done in the last uh, past two years. And now we have to support them because they need to feel that support and that love because when, uh, when, uh, when things are not going in the way, uh, the easy thing is to abandon, you know, to abandon the guys that are fighting every single day for what they want to achieve. And now is when we have to be all together. Now is when we have to show, like, the family that we are. We talk about FC Dallas is a family. And when a family has a tough moment is when we have to stick together. And this is the message that we have to give. When you have a problem in your family, you stick together and you overcome that. And then this is how we're going to do it. It's, this is how we do. It's easy to blame, you know, to blame players. It's easy to blame the coach, to blame. It's very easy. We can all blame someone. Uh, pick on me if, you, if it's, uh, it's someone that you have to pick. I'm the leader of this group and we're not doing well. Uh, but the players are going to step up. I'm pretty sure. I know their mentality. I know how hungry they are. I know how much they love this club and the the, the fans. And we're gonna gonna get there. I have no doubt. Uh, conceding a couple goals early and getting down early. Uh, yeah, I think there's just a severe lack of intensity uh, from the start. And then you're either gonna punch first or get hit. And uh, we keep getting punched first. And it's hard to come back when you're down two goals, one goal, three goals. Uh, we haven't scored first in any game this season yet, so it's kind of hard to win with that kind of an outcome. You hit a nail on the head there, I, I think, conceding goals in every single game this season first. What do you attribute that to? Yeah, I think it's just a lack of intensity. Like, we're out here to perform in games, um, and I don't think we're approaching the game with that mindset. Like, it's a, it's a do-or-die thing. And teams are showing up on the field just ready to eat. And uh, the food's on the plate. And someone's going to take it. We, we're not taking it. It's that simple. And then once you go down a goal, it doesn't really matter how good you are. Like, we fought back. They didn't even enter. I don't even know if they had a shot in the second half. But what does it matter? It was 3-1 at the first half. So that's how the score ended, too. Are there any additional challenges with trying to switch up the formation coming into this game? 1-4 in the back versus 3? Uh... Maybe, like, possibly. I don't think that's why we lost. Um, like I'm saying, I think at the end of the day, it's still 11 v 11. Like, they scored two set piece goals. And that has nothing to do with four or five. We could have nine at the back. And I, I, it doesn't really matter. It's just a lack of, like, intensity and awareness. So, your ball's in the air, go get it. Or their guy's going to get it. Is this one of those instances where, you know, having a bye, if you will, comes at a good time? Or do you want to get right back out there next weekend? I, I guess we'll see. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know how I'm built. I could, I'm ready to kill somebody tomorrow, but I'm hoping that everybody takes the time, regardless of whether you want to or not. We have the time, so you may as well use it and make it be productive, and uh, hopefully when we come back, we can have a different set of outcomes. First goal since 22. Yes. A little bittersweet, though, this evening, yeah? Yeah, it's not one that you kind of want to celebrate. You want to get back to the halfway line and kind of get the next one, and I think we just conceded, uh, you know, too, too early right after we scored. So it's just very tough to get back into the game. It's a tough one. I'm not gonna lie. You know, it's uh, this one hurts because you know you're losing three in a row. I think this team is. We all know we're better than this, so I think that's why it hurts. You've seen everything. What do you attribute this weird start, conceding early, consistently in every game this year, even in the win? What do you attribute that to? You've seen it all. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, no, no. I've I've been in all sorts of games and things like that, but um, I think it's just maybe concentration. You know what I mean? It's just like. We're, we're a team that we know we're good with the ball. We know what we want to do. We have a system. We try to have an identity. But I, we're falling short there. And um, the defensively as a whole, you know, it's not to blame anyone. It's, 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 it's everyone. So, Do you think the switch four in the back versus three in the back came at the right time? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, there's, there's sure there could be tactical issues. Some, maybe something that we'll, after the break, we'll regroup and and talk about, you know, and really sit down and look at each other and see what we're, what you know speak to guys in the back line speak to guys in midfield what really which way do we want to go forward and stick with it and see what we're comfortable with because obviously something has to change obviously a pretty challenging one um and a trend is 
developed this year where Dallas has conceded the goal early in games. What do you attribute that to? Ooh, it's tough. It's tough. Um, yeah, no, it's. Uh, <laughs> we try to get the solutions now, real quick after the game and stuff. Um, but yeah, we we need to analyze it quick. Why we we concede the goal first all the time and uh, yeah, that's just something mentally that we we have to. We talk uh, the whole preseason about lighting a fire and kicking the afterburner, but I think uh, that fire inside to to prevent. Uh, Goals and chances, uh, I think, needs to needs to be lit a little bit more, and um, yeah, that's just my take on it. And uh, yeah, I believe, uh, yeah, we have now two weeks to to look into that and yeah, try to get some solutions. Does that break come at a good time, or are you the kind of guy who wants to get right back out there tomorrow? Uh, I want to go <laughs> back there tomorrow and solve things with the team as soon as possible, but. Uh, yeah, it's also maybe good to get some days to, yeah, to get thinking to change some habits of yourself personally and maybe as a team as well, and then, uh, yeah, come back strong. What are you seeing that is working from your point of view on the field? Who, what is working? I think uh, second half we we play with more courage, with uh, with more confidence, and uh, I think second half we were a better team, um, and. Uh, but a game is two two halves, and I think uh, yeah, in all the games we 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 play one half maybe better, but then we give it give some some goals or chances away in the other half, and that's yeah I think we 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 want to get a, a full performance in 90 minutes, and that's gonna create us uh, chances. If you were gonna describe the start of the season with one word, what would it be and why? Uh, yeah, room for improvement. It's not one word, but uh, I think. Uh, yeah, that's just a solution. There's a lot of room for improvement, uh, and maybe uh, it's um, yeah taking responsibility, responsibility, uh, yeah, all by ourselves. And then uh, for me, that's uh, the key.